India is swiftly creating world-class infrastructure and is aiming to emerge as the global manufacturing hub in the post-COVID world. The key to achieving this lies in providing infrastructure, connectivity and logistics, support to the industries. And that's where we need industrial corridors. Hello and welcome to Transforming India. I'm Amitabh Kant and in this edition of the show, we will talk about industrial corridors and the role they are playing in the economic and social growth of India. But first, let me tell you what these industrial corridors are. Different sectors of any economy are all interdependent on each other, but are often not connected via key infrastructure and logistics mechanisms. Industrial corridors offer an effective solution by integrating industry with relevant infrastructural needs. They provide multimodal connectivity, world-class infrastructure, and state-of-the-art modern technologies. Industrial corridors are crucial to the development of industry in an economy. They provide not just the best connectivity and infrastructure to the industry, but also support the region by developing smart cities around the industrial hubs, providing employment opportunities and bring about social and economic growth of the region. The National Industrial Corridor Program is aimed at creating futuristic industrial cities that can compete with the best manufacturing and investment destinations in the world. It aims to provide complete plug-and-play infrastructure along with developing new industrial cities as smart cities. The National Industrial Corridor Development and Implementation Trust was established in 2016 by expanding the scope of the existing Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project, Project Implementation Trust Fund. A fund of Rs 8,715.07 crore was allocated and released. Out of this, 7,315.07 crore rupees have been utilized for the development of industrial corridors as on March 2021. Any developer uh, who want to set up an industry, uh, uh, the investment into seeking other facilities would not be uh, that high, not be required to that high extent. Already plug and play facility is being provided wherein the common facility requirement is being met by the SPB. Uh, as part of the project, the skill development facilities are being enhanced, uh, resulting into availability of the skilled manpower. And through these uh, manufacturing units in these industrial parks, the employment opportunity will go up. So it will bring both the competitiveness and the employment, and hence uh, to the economic empowerment of the NASA. Realizing the importance of industrial corridors in boosting growth, the government has made them a major focus area in Gati Shakti, the National Master Plan for Infrastructure Development. The Gati Shakti Master Plan has marked a paradigm shift in bringing synergy among various government departments to create an efficient and seamless multimodal transport network and industrial hubs. As per the National Master Plan, 
All the existing proposed economic zones have been mapped along with multimodal connectivity infrastructure in a single platform. 32 projects under 11 industrial corridors have been envisioned to be developed in four phases by 2425. Some of these projects are under various stages of conceptualization, development and implementation. Let's now take a look at the 11 proposed industrial corridors in the country. Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor Amritsar-Kolkata Industrial Corridor Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor Vizek Chennai Industrial Corridor Bangalore Mumbai Industrial Corridor Odisha Economic Corridor Hyderabad Nagpur Industrial Corridor Hyderabad Warangal Industrial Corridor Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor Extension of CBIC to Kochi via Coimbatore, Delhi Nagpur Industrial Corridor. We are mandated to develop 11 industrial corridor projects with 32 greenfield nodes. So these projects are under different phases of implementation. So far, under the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor project, four uh, industrial cities, the trunk infrastructure have been developed in uh, Noida in UP, Dolera in Gujarat, Vikram Udyogpuri in Madhya Pradesh, and Sandra Bitkin in Maharashtra. In all these cities now, the trunk infrastructure has been uh, developed. The plots have already been uh, allotted to many of the willing investors. In fact, 145 plots, about 829 acres, have already been uh, allotted on which uh, the manufacturing units have started uh, at some places, operation at some places, the industries are being set up. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor aims to create smart, sustainable industrial cities by leveraging high-speed, high-capacity connectivity provided by the Western Dedicated Freight Corridor, passing through six states, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra. The DMIC is alone expected to create nearly 25 million jobs. These industrial corridors, once functional, will lead to the development of many urban industrial centers across the length and breadth of the country. A major socio-economic impact of these industrial corridors is the clustering effect along these corridors. These areas would grow as major industrial hubs and smart cities equipped with modern amenities, uninterrupted power supply, telecom and digital penetration, and job opportunities, thereby improving the quality of life in the region around them. These urban centers would also serve as markets for manufactured goods and imports and act as vital sources of labor, technology and innovation for the industries. One of the major industrial hubs on the DMIC, the Dholera Special Investment Region provides complete built-up infrastructure right at the plot level. Dholera has already attracted investments worth 3,500 crore rupees and comes with a unique plug-and-play infrastructure setup, enabling investors to set up their businesses with ease. The major benefit to the industry is that such type of infrastructure is not available anywhere in the state. And this is a greenfield development, which we have developed after designing uh, the entire city. Uh, we have ICT master planning done for the entire city. So. The companies who will be coming here will be getting a plug-and-play infrastructure. They can start their work immediately. Right now, the allotment of plots to various industries are under progress. 
they will get a cheaper rate electricity cheaper rate water good land plug and play infrastructure and this facilitation will go a long way in building up their industry over a period of time when dholera this 22.5 square kilometer is complete within 6 months from now and the industry is coming up we will be able to generate employment for about 1 lakh people and beyond we will have a residential population also there the city is designed not only to work there but to leave work enjoy play i am currently working in real estate market and uh, there is a huge boom in the uh, real estate sector as well as uh, residential sector and uh, rental income has become our main source of income hum log pehle maan lijiye cycle leke ghumte the ya chal ke ya bus mein jaate the aaj dheere dheere yahan pe rozgar bhi itna milne laga hai dhande sabke acche chalne lage hai aur jo bhi kisan hai unke land ke price bhi bahut acche aane lage hai to uske mutabik sabko matlab mazdoor se leke kisan tak sabko munafa hua hai isse Another major industrial hub on the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor is the integrated industrial township in Greater Noida. Spanning over 203 hectares, the futuristic township falls under Dadri, Noida, Ghaziabad investment region of the DMIC. By February 20, 30 the region is expected to employ over 1 lakh people. In terms of infrastructure, this is a city which is planned with passion. It has what you call it basically all the wide roads, wide one of the highest green coverage. In terms of electricity, we have 24 by 7 electricity supply. We provide all the infrastructure requirements of any industry, which helps them become competitive at the global stage. That is why Greater Noida has become hub of investments, not only at India level, but at international level. You will be happy to note that we are becoming the mobile manufacturing hub for whole of India, for whole of world, I will say. There are big companies who are manufacturing 2 lakh to 6 miles a day in this area. Then we are becoming the manufacturing hub of all electronic white goods also. Last 4 to 5 years, we have attracted investment worth 30,000 crores. We have virtually invited every sector, you name it, in terms of mobile companies, in terms of electronics manufacturing. Every company has come and set up their shop here. In December 2020, a multi-model logistics hub and a multi-model transport hub was approved in Greater Noida with a view to make India a strong player in global value chain. Steps are being taken to connect the integrated industrial township with the Jaywar Airport, Metro and Railway Services. Now Greater Noida is the only city in India which is being served by three airports. Of course from our Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi, Hindan Airport is also serving this area and the upcoming largest international airport at Jaywar will also be benefiting this area. Apart from this, Greater Noida is located at the cusp of two dedicated freight corridors being constructed by Ministry of Railways. The advantage to industry will be their logistic cost will be reduced significantly. In fact, they will become competitive not only in India but at the world stage also. The Aurangabad Industrial City, AURIC, is one of India's first industrial greenfield smart cities spanning across 10,000 acres in Maharashtra. The industrial township is planned as a congregation of office spaces, residential areas, hotels, hospitals and schools etc. The Aurangabad Industrial City integrates city infrastructure with information and communication technology to optimize the use of natural resources and reduce the impact on environment. Now let's talk about the Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor that covers three states of India, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. The CBIC is envisioned to provide market-driven strategic locations, world-class infrastructure and road and rail connectivity to and from points and logistic hubs for freight movement. It will also provide a globally competitive environment for setting up businesses. The Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor will also address infrastructure bottlenecks while benefiting from the strength and competitiveness of each state. In addition, the Union Cabinet 
has approved the setting up of industrial corridor nodes at Krishnapatnam in Andhra Pradesh and Tumkur in Karnataka under the CBIC. These industrial nodes at strategic locations are proposed to be developed within the industrial corridor to offer sustainable plug and play information and communication technology enabled utilities. These industrial hubs will provide land parcels for immediate allotment for attracting investments into manufacturing. They will also have quality social infrastructure for building up of residential areas. Uh, in full consultation with the relevant authorities of the uh, uh, government of India, uh, state uh, governments, as well as, of course, private sectors, uh, to uh, uh, regarding on their needs uh, for future business development. As an outcome of the survey, uh, we were successfully able to uh, uh, compile uh, come up with uh, 34 priority infrastructure development uh, projects. Today, uh, JICA, uh, we feel very much excited, privileged to observe uh, many projects are coming to uh, reality. Uh, JICA has uh, taken up so far uh, two or three uh, projects among those 34 uh, priority projects. The Vishakapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor region encompasses one of the largest concentrations of industrial, mineral, and urban nodes. The Vishakapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor is being developed as the first phase of East Coast Economic Corridor. The East Coast Industrial Corridor ECEC, is India's first coastal economic corridor covering 2,500 kilometers of India's coastline. Several ports along the East Coast will serve as not just international gateways, but more importantly as critical links in supply chain. Four industrial nodes are being developed along the VCIC in the first phase. They are Vishakhapatnam, Machalipatnam, Donakonda and Shrikalahasti Yerpedu. The project is being built with financial aid from Asian Development Bank. To ensure smooth movement of goods and reduce logistic costs, a unified logistic interface platform ULIP is being made to revolutionize India's logistic sector and promote trade. The digital initiative aims to make the right data available at the right time throughout the ecosystem and ensure smooth movement of goods among all modes of operations. Designed by National Industrial Corridor Development Corporation Limited along with Niti Aayog, the platform integrates 24 systems of six ministries through 78 application programming interface. The data exchange among all mode operators will be brought on unified logistics interface platform designed for application programming interface. This will provide for efficient movement of goods through different modes, reducing logistics cost and time assisting just-in-time inventory management and in eliminating tedious documentation. Most importantly, this will provide real-time information to all stakeholders and improve international competitiveness, open-source mobility stack for organizing seamless travel of passengers will also be facilitated. An efficient logistics network and achieving economies of scale in manufacturing is crucial and critical to making India a global manufacturing hub. For this, industrial and logistics parks need to grow in size to be globally competitive. Close coordination between the NICDIC and the state governments is needed to develop these industrial corridors. The state governments also need to take the lead in identifying areas for industrialization in their state. In line with the national plan to boost growth and employment in the region, the national master plan also aims to employ modern technology and the latest IT tools for coordinated planning of architecture. However, India must also ensure that these dedicated industrial corridors must be built in line with the nation's sustainable development goals.
Then, these industrial corridors will not just boost development, but also become corridors of change. Well, that's all we have for you in this edition. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in to Sunset TV.